All right, so now we're going to talk a little bit about ballasting the sub. Uh, we want to get the weight just right in the water. We want the sub to be nice and neutrally buoyant uh, so we can fly smoothly through the water. If the sub is too light, uh, we're going to constantly be fighting it with the vertical motor to keep it down. If it's too heavy, just the opposite. Uh, so very important pre-dive operation ballasting your sub. Now you notice in your kit, uh, everything is shipped with one of these bags of, of stainless steel ballast weights. Uh, you notice they're square so they don't roll off the dock, which is a nice feature. Uh, and we're going to show you real quick how to get the sub and get the trim characteristics right for flying. So we mentioned a little bit before on the, uh, the skid here, uh, we have a real quick release uh, feature here. Uh, so we can add and subtract ballast weights uh, as, as necessary. Now the sub comes from the factory uh, ballasted for fresh water. Uh, we have fresh water tanks in there, so that's, that's how we send everything out. Uh, if you're working in salt water, you know, we're gonna need to add a little bit more weight or a little less weight depending on the density of the water. Uh, so it's a little bit of trial and error to get this just right, and we'll show you how to do that here. So this is uh, ballasted a little bit light on purpose, and I wanna show you what happens to the sub when you throw it in. So basically, we wanna look down first. We wanna make sure that there's nothing below us uh, that we're gonna crash the sub into, right? And damage it. So it looks like we're nice and clear to go here. We're gonna give it a nice little toss, nose down. We want it to sink a little bit, and we wanna watch how fast it rises. All right, so that popped up pretty quickly. And you can see here, we've got quite a bit of the float block sticking out of the water. Uh, what we're ideally going for is to get the water just lapping over the top of that, of that float block there, uh, which is gonna give us a nice, a nice trim underwater. Now, having a little bit of that block sticking out uh, is gonna mean we're a little bit on the positive side. And that's, that's not a bad thing. Just a little bit positive is good uh, for the fact that, and this happens, if your tether gets cut on a prop or something, you're going to want your sub to come back to the surface, so hopefully you can retrieve it. So a little bit positive is good. This is sticking out way too too far in the water, as you can see here. We're we're well above, we're almost down to the logo of the blue ray text there. So I'm going to pull it back out, and it's easier to do this upside down. Uh, you're just going to open that up, there's a quick release latch on there, and we're gonna add weight. Now we're gonna wanna do this evenly on both sides, uh, so we're not, we're not throwing off the, uh, the sub on how it's pitching or tilting. So we're, we're simply just gonna add a few weights to the side, and the more you do this, the better you get at it. Um, you'll know how much to add. And if you're working in the same spot every time, you should only have to do this once. It's, it's only when you're moving a different density of water, and so on and so forth. So we're going to want to put an equal amount in the front and the back so we're not nose or tail heavy. And this was purposely done a little bit light, so we're going to have to add a little bit of weight here. All right, let's give that a shot. Make sure these are latched down. Now, if you're really in a in a rough environment, you know it never hurts to put a piece of tape around or something like that to keep these shut. But the, the clamps are pretty solid on them, and they should uh, should hold tight just just fine. So again, we're gonna go nose down and make sure it submerges. We're gonna watch to see how fast it comes back up. All right, so that's. If it's coming up at all, it's coming up extremely slowly, so we have a little bit too much weight on it. It's pretty close though, so we're just gonna maybe take one or two out of each side. So two out of each side, that should be just about right. Time goes down. All right, that came back up nice and slow. We have water just lapping over the top of that, and we're just perfect. We're ready to go flying.